Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today I've got a product from Helm Audio. This is their Bolt DAC and Amp, which is MQA and THX certified. Uh, so you are going to be able to get higher quality sound out of your devices. This will work with uh, Android devices, tablets, phones, uh, work with PC, Mac, under Linux, and it will also work with iOS devices such as your iPhone if you use a uh, USB to lightning adapter as well. So you can pick this up on Amazon at the time of this review for about $99, and this high performance DAC will open up a new level of audio for your music files. If you're an audiophile, you may want to check this out. Stay tuned, and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is, again, the Helm Audio Bolt DAC and Amp. Uh, there are uh, a few certified uh, things on here, such as THX, and it will support MQA audio. So if you're looking for mastered audio through something like Tidal, uh, Mastered, or other streaming services, this will do it for you. Uh, so it will do sample rates up to 384 kilohertz. It does DSD rates up to a 500 megahertz, not kilohertz, but megahertz. So it is plug and play for Android, iOS, Windows, Mac OS, and Linux, but you are going to have to uh, come up with that lightning adapter to USB adapter if you're gonna use it on your iPhone. So let's show you what comes inside the box here. They do have this nice little leather a carry case for it, and of course some documentation, uh, and we'll get into that in just a few moments. Uh, the documentation is a uh, well laid out, all written in English, uh, and here are all the specs on the Bolt from Helm. And I'm going to leave this up here, so if you guys uh, don't get a certain thing out of me during this, uh, you can come back to this point in the video and you can pause it and check it out. It only weighs 1.2 ounces, so it's super small, easy to carry around with you, uh, not a problem. Uh, it's not a big, huge dongle that's going to add uh, a lot of extra unnecessary cabling uh, if you're going to hook this into, say, a smaller device like a phone. So anyway, that is what we've got there. There are a few other things I do want to show you with this later on in the video, so I'm going to set this aside for now, uh, and then we'll look at the DAC itself. Now, it comes in this nice little carry case here, magnetic closure at the top, and you'll be able to uh, grab the DAC out of here. Uh, and you can store it if you're not using it, uh, and it's a nice thing to have just kind of as a uh, protection case and or storage case. So nice that they add this in. Now the DAC itself, again, super small here. Uh, you can see they have a pre-installed uh, USB Type-C to USB Type-A uh, converter here. And this is so if you don't have USB Type-C on your PC, say, you can plug it right into your PC using a regular USB port. Gold-plated USB Type-C and 3.5 millimeter uh, on the other side. And you do have a little LED here which will indicate what we are getting as far as uh, file quality or streaming quality in your music as well. Uh, and it will change different colors, and I will show you that once I get everything hooked up and ready to go. Again, if you're going to use this with iPhone, you're going to need a USB Type-C to Lightning or a USB uh, Type-A to Lightning and use both of the adapters. Okay, so now that I've got this hooked up to my Android phone, you can see I've got a blue light on here. That is your standard or SD audio that is 48 kilohertz or under. This is what you're normally going to hear out of most Android devices or most devices in general is that 48, well, probably 44.1 kilohertz is the standard. So if I play a standard setup here, some Pink Floyd that I have on my phone, it's going to stay in blue because it's usually in that 44.1 kilohertz range, so we're in that standard definition audio range. Now, if I want to uh, bump that up with a higher quality FLAC file uh, that is something like, uh, you know, say 352 uh, kilohertz, 
you're going to see that the DAC now turns to HD audio, which is that red LED there. And that lets us know that we're over 48 kilohertz. The DAC is doing its job converting, and it is playing it in that higher uh, kilohertz range, which does make a difference. Even for somebody like me that's not an audiophile, I'm not somebody that's going to go out and uh, really uh, want to uh, get 300 dollar pairs of earphones and use those for higher quality audio uh, but now that I've heard it I can definitely tell the difference the whole entire sound stage is different the uh, bass is different everything sounds better now also if you have something like Tidal uh, or a service that is going to do mastered audio uh, you will get uh, M QA audio out of this as well and the light will turn magenta and mastered audio is smaller file size for a very 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 nice sound and a lot of services are offering this Amazon uh, title uh, just to name a few uh, use MQA audio and it will turn magenta when the DAC is uh, unfolding that and you will hear a definite difference when that is being used but even going from uh, 48 kilohertz to HD in red where the DAC turns red uh, and you're over 48 kilohertz and you can experience you know say 250 uh, kilohertz or whatnot you will hear a difference. Uh, this DAC definitely uh, makes that processing happen and it does sound really good. So if you're an audiophile and you're looking for a DAC that is nice and compact, uh, that will do the job, supports MQA audio and is also THX certified, then you're gonna wanna take a look at the Bolt from Helm Audio. It's uh, priced at right around $99 on Amazon. Again, you'll have that link in the description below. This was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. If you have any questions or comments about this product, please leave them in the comment section below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Remember to like, and if you guys haven't subscribed yet, please do so because that always helps me out, and I'll check you guys out on the next video.